Hi, it's Stephanie here from thegreenhub.ca. On this installment of This Really Old House Goes Green, the guys from Energi Canada perform an energy audit on the house. The guys are here now, so let's go check it out. Well, my name is Chris Isonen, and I'm the president of Energi Canada. And what we do is the Eco Energy Program, and we do home energy evaluations uh, for homeowners who are looking to make their homes more energy efficient. So I'm going to do a home ener energy evaluation on the house, and what that means is I'm going to profile the house and grab all the insulation and heating characteristics of the home. So what we do is we give a snapshot of your house. We come out and basically, like a home inspection, we come out and have a look at all facets of the home, but really focusing on the energy components that make up the house. Everything from the building envelope, insulation levels, the windows, the doors efficiency. So we're going to start outside and measure, take some measurements and pictures of the house. And then we're going to go inside and take a look at the furnace and the insulation in the basement and then work on up to the attic. At the end we're going to hook up a fan to the front door. Uh, we're going to put the house under reverse pressure to about 50 pascals, which simulates a 55 kilometer an hour wind on all sides of the house. And then we can find out where the air infiltration is coming from in the house, where you're losing energy. Energi does a thorough assessment of your home from the roof to the basement. The technician can then generate a paperless report that can be available online by the end of the day. I'm going to put it into government generated software and create a report, so a house rating for you. We're going to compare your house to a bunch of other houses and let you know the biggest areas for improvement. From there then we take it and we, uh, we give the homeowner some recommendations on what they might want to do to make the home more energy efficient. At Energi what we do is we keep an independent third party unbiased uh, opinion of the home and so when we give advice to homeowners we give them advice on what they might want to consider doing in the home but not steer them towards a particular contractor or company to do the work. So homeowners right now today can get involved and have us out and we give a full assessment of the home, we give some recommendations and then we apply for the homeowners uh, grant. So we fill out all the paperwork, do all the computer modeling and then give them a nice report that gives them some direction on what they might want to do. And the government of Ontario also pays for half the evaluation costs. So for homeowners it's a pretty inexpensive way to get an independent, unbiased view of what they might want to consider in their home. We follow Todd Downey as he starts in the basement with an assessment of the furnace, hot water heater and basement insulation. So in the basement we're looking at, at a few different things. We're going to start with the mechanical equipment. Uh, this furnace is actually a high efficiency furnace already. Uh, it may not be the best one on the market but it definitely wouldn't, if, if I was doing upgrades to the house I wouldn't start with the furnace because it already is high efficiency. The hot water tank here is just a standard conventional hot water tank. Uh, not very efficient. There are a few things that can be done to upgrade that. Probably not the best bang for the buck though. Uh, however, these bare basement walls would definitely be something that I would focus on if this was my house. Uh, most people don't understand how much heat actually is lost through the basement walls. I'm willing to bet that this is going to be the number one bang for the buck item and it's a pretty cheap upgrade to do as well. Code is the bare minimum, we want to bring you to the star of the class. Heading upstairs, we check out the attic and crawl space, an area often overlooked by homeowners. So this is a typical story and a half house and on this story and a half they've actually insulated the slope all the way down to the gutters. Uh, there's a storage area behind here which is really an attic and it should be treated like an attic so it should be insulated on the floor and then the walls coming up and then the sloped portion and then the flat portion up top. We're going to do an air infiltration test on the house and when I turn the fan on we're probably going to feel a fair bit of air infiltration here. This here is, is like a uh, at being outside so we want to treat this like an outside door insulate on the back side and then put some gaskets around the edge to, to seal it up nice. So the attic insulation isn't too bad, it's not fantastic but it's not great either. So we can upgrade it a little bit and, and save a bit of energy. So this is a traditional 13 litre toilet, yeah, very common. What we'd suggest now is to put in a low flush or dual flush toilet and by putting in a low flush or dual flush toilet you can save about $100 per person per year in water savings. Pretty cheap as well. There, you can get a really good low flush or dual flush toilet for under $200. Our door is very adaptable. It'll fit in pretty much any, any opening so I'm just sizing it to fit the opening first. And then I'm going to put a canopy over the opening. We'll reinstall it in the door and then install the fan afterwards. I'm 
going to try to get the house up to 60 pascals of negative pressure. Well, I had to take the ring off the fan because this house is a bit drafty and I needed more airflow in order to, to get the pressure up. Todd takes multiple readings with the house under varying pressure. This allows for a more accurate measurement of air infiltration. We have some air infiltration here because the feathers are blowing. So this tells us this is an area where we have air coming into the house. We can feel it with our hand too. Here, there's a lot coming in down at the bottom. So as I suspected, this is an area we're definitely gonna wanna seal up and insulate. Todd uses a feather duster to identify areas of concern in the attic and in the basement. Right, so uh, we can see a lot of cobwebs blowing up there. Cobwebs are an energy advisor's best friends. <laughs> you can see where the drafts are coming from quite easily. Well, what's kind of neat about the, uh, the home energy evaluation is that because we do give a report on the home, we also give a score for the home. And so we rate homes from zero, zero being very inefficient, and up to a score of 100, which means you're basically, you're off the grid. You're not using any purchased energy. You're supplying all your own needs. So if you have a home that um, is very efficient, it's uh, you know new construction, it's gonna rate as high as maybe 85. You don't see much beyond 85. Um, what's nice about the scoring or the energy rating system is that it allows homeowners to be able to compare one home to a similar home um, of a similar year. In Canada, there's been about one million homes that have been rated using this system, and so the database is chock full of uh, great examples from coast to coast. And well, thanks a lot, uh, Todd. You certainly opened our our eyes here on the house on what things can be done, and really appreciate you uh, coming by. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Uh, there are some really easy things you can do to your house, like sealing up your attic hatch. So I have a nice example for you here. Uh, I'm also going to generate a report for you, which will be available by the end of the day. And just go onto our website and get it. So it's paper free, and saves the environment that way. Um, as as I thought at the start of the audit. Insulating the house, the main walls, the basement, uh, and topping up the attic are going to be your, your biggest bang for the buck items. Uh, there's some other things you might want to consider, like the new toilet. Uh, but overall, I think you're, you, the easy things are the ones that I, th I thought you'd have to do, and you know, we'd suggest you do. You don't have to do anything. Well, it was a very, very beneficial day, and I appreciate your time. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you.